We're here to explore how the Incas built Machu Picchu. And our brand new technology can help us do just that. Recent scientific breakthroughs mean we now have a device portable enough to travel the world and access these incredible places, and powerful enough to explore deep inside their structural secrets. The mobile laser scanner. These bounce narrow pulses of light off objects to map them with incredible accuracy. What's packed into this tiny box gives our experts virtual superpowers. Collecting over a billion measurements to form what is known as a point cloud. Giving us an incredible 3D perspective. The ability to pick up million ton structures and move them anywhere. And use this data to take precise measurements with pinpoint accuracy. To peel back time and help us unravel mysteries locked in the past. But the real key to the technology is in the interpretation of this data. And we're seeing it through the eyes of one of the world's best structural engineers, Steve Burrows. A master of the modern building world, Steve Burrows has created such iconic structures as the Beijing Bird's Nest Stadium, Munich's Allianz Arena, and Manchester's Etihad Stadium. Steve's always wanted to explore the great engineering mysteries of the past, and now he has the technology to do it. My job is to get into the head of the Inca engineers and figure out how they really did Absolutely. this. Absolutely, we need to be Inca thinkers. We need to think like thinkers. an Inca. Armed with our scanning technology, Steve wants to answer three key questions. How did the Inca build a city on the side of a mountain? What was the purpose of these terraces and how were they constructed? And finally, how did they supply the entire city with fresh flowing water. To aid his mission, Steve has brought along a world-class scanning team from the Center for Advanced Spatial Technologies at the University of Arkansas. Katie Simon, Malcolm Williamson, Eileen Ernenwein, and Adam Barnes. We scanned in very challenging environments before, but this is at the top of the difficulty scale. The team begin their scans and investigate their first question. How was a city of this size built high up on the side of a mountain? Before Machu Picchu was built, this location looked like the neighboring mountains, with steep vertical sides and covered in dense jungle. You have the mountain with the vegetation on top. The first thing you do is remove that. Then you get down to the loose material, the loose rocks and the, and the stone and the, the rubble and the soil. It's a huge exercise. It involves hundreds, maybe even thousands of people. To unlock the secrets of this city's remarkable design, Steve thinks the clues can be found within the very rocks themselves. Every construction site in the world, we look at how much material we've got to take out of the ground, and then we think about where we're we going to put it. But the basic idea is exactly the same as the builders of Machu Picchu. To build a city in the sky, the Incas needed to take control of the mountaintops, leveling the peaks with terraces to create the foundation for their gravity-defying city. But where did they get the materials to do this? In the southwest corner of the city, the process of leveling the mountain appears frozen in time. And Steve believes it holds vital clues as to how the entire city was constructed. So he wants to scan it to see what the 3D data will reveal about Machu Picchu's origins. The sort of rocks that we want to scan are things like this one. So you can see, this is a prepared face. Look how flat it is. So what were these rocks being used for? While Katie takes close-up scans of the area, Adam and Malcolm scan from long range. Steve hopes the data will hold the key for him to understand the building of this city in the clouds. <laughs> 